What's up everyone, Zeph Films here with another visual review. This week we're going to be looking at the Cardenas class starship, better known as the USS Buran from Star Trek Discovery. Uh, this ship has made it to Star Trek Online, and uh, yeah, I like it. Uh, I also have the Eagle Moss uh, model of this as well, <laughs> so uh, uh, keep an eye out for the video if, or if I have already done it and released it there'll be a link here for you to check out the uh, the Eagle Moss video but yeah this is uh, this is the Cardenas this is uh, the discovery uh, ship for the purposes of this video I actually uh, went and got the fleet version uh, I used one of the um, fleet modules that I got from the reputation getting up to tier 6 so here is what the fleet Cardenas looks like uh, so it's a 4-4. The only difference between this and the Buran class, which is the 2410 T6 ship that comes with the T5 Mastery, uh, the only difference is this one has five engineering consoles, whereas the uh, the Buran class only had four engineering slots, uh, console slots. Uh, so as you can see here, no uh, T5 Mastery on this ship. Uh, doesn't come with the universal console. You have to purchase the sea store ship to get the uh, universal console um, stations I can't remember if this is any different it actually looks the same uh, we have lieutenant universal station uh, we have lieutenant tactical station uh, lieutenant tactical command station commander engineering command station and then we have lieutenant commander science station I think that's the same I can't remember off the top of my head uh, at this particular moment but yeah this is a very nice ship I like um, I am like I said in the other video I am a sucker for foreign cell ships I, I love the front end of this uh, not a lot of people do for me for some reason it just uh, I just I really really do like it and I think I might have focused a little bit too, a little bit too much in the Fresh Out of Space Dock video. Um, if you haven't checked out the cinematic featuring this ship, this USS Buran, I'll have a link for that for you to go check out. Please do. Uh, but from here, we're going to go into Earth Space Dock and go down to the ship Taylor and take a look at the different skins. Uh, on the ship and then after that we will go to the Solanae Dyson Sphere and take a look at the shield visuals on the ship and I can't wait to see what looks awesome and what looks bad brain shield on the ship <laughs> alright let's go to the ship tailor alright so here we are in the ship tailor uh, template is uh, the Cardenas uh, you can also switch it to the brand but we will switch to the Cardenas I, I, I can't recall if it's supposed to be Cardenas or Card Dinas. Uh, so I do apologize if I'm butchering it. Uh, I'm sure somebody will let me know in the uh, <laughs> comment section. All right, so the interior, it comes with the walker interior. Uh, you can select any of the other bridge interiors if you like. It defaults to the Discovery Era Starfleet Type 5. Uh, let's start up at the top. There's a Type 1. Actually, that looks really good. I like that one. Uh, Discovery, Discovery Era Type 2, not too bad, Type 3, ooh, I, I like the Type 3 as well, Type 4, I think I like them all, Type 5, oh yeah, Type 5 is the default, <laughs> Type 6, Type 6 looks like, oh yeah, I think the only difference between 6 and 4 is, uh, not much. <laughs> uh, okay, so the only difference between 6 and 4 is these blue parts here. So on 6 it's blue, on 4 it's purple. That is kind of about it, yeah. Uh, let's go to the next one, which is Fleet. Ooh, not too bad. Then there's a Fleet 2. This is the first time I'm seeing Fleet and Fleet 2. Maybe it's because I have the Fleet version, finally. But, uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, veteran. Uh, upgrade. Upgrade looks nice, for once. I like that one. Uh, 
8B. 8B looks sleek. I like that one too. Oh my. It, it, it has this retro feel to it. Huh. I like that one. Uh, then type 8. Same thing. Solid black lines. I think it's just like the solid black line and the contrast. Uh, I just, I like it. Racing stripes. <laughs> it's like racing stripes down the side of your ship. Amazing. Uh, <laughs> type 7. It's also Sunday morning when I'm recording this, so I'm a little bit loopy. That's okay. So here's the Type 7. Not too bad. I don't think it suits the ship too much. Like, it definitely looks better on the Baran, which is the default for the Baran class, but... Uh, yeah. Uh, then we have type 6. And then type 5. Eh, not too bad. Type 4. If you really like the darker aspect, but this one still kind of shows its age, and it, it forces its age upon the newer model ship. I can tell. <laughs> uh, type 3. Not too bad. Type 2. Type 2 actually kind of looks like the default. Uh, type 5. Type 5 is a little bit lighter. Type 1. And then type 0. Oh, I like type 0 too. Type zero looks nice. It's just so clean. I really like it. Uh, NX refit. Uh, looks way too bland. Way too bland. And you can't even see the registry. Yeah, no. NX refit, way too bland on this ship. And NX. Uh, this is one of the times I actually don't like the NX. Again, NX... I think it's because of the design of the ship. It's not... I, I can't put my finger on it, to be honest. It just... On some ships, this, this NX skin looks good. This one, no. I think it needs a little bit of variation of color and stuff like that. I don't know. I'm, I'm tired. <laughs> but let's... That's not how this works at all. There we go. <laughs> uh, and then over in the advanced section, you can change... Uh, things so we could change the uh, the hall to the Baran hall if we wanted to though I really do prefer this one over the Baran like the Baran is just amazingly uh, modeled but there's just something aesthetically pleasing to me about this front end of the ship and I can't put my finger on it but uh, just believe me that I find it pleasing <laughs> I don't know. All right, uh, this is going to be it for this part of the video. Let's go to the Solanae Dyson Sphere and take a look at the shield visuals now. And here is a quick subscriber break. If you find yourself watching a lot of my videos and aren't subscribed, please take the time to hit that subscribe button and help me get to my goal of 10k subscribers by the end of the year. Don't ask why I have a goal, I just do. Thanks! Alrighty, so here we are in the Solanae Dyson Sphere. Uh, here's our quick look at the default skin of this ship very nice I like the color combinations used with this uh, with the ship design uh, again I, I, I love I really do like this front end I've seen a couple of videos where they said they didn't like that the bridge is like up there like that and that they'd prefer to see it back a bit or uh, whatever but um I mean if your ship is gonna get destroyed it's gonna get destroyed I don't think the placement of the bridge matters too much um, but for me personally, I don't mind it being up front here. It's, uh, it gives that little bit of uniqueness to the ship. Uh, I don't mind a little break in design symmetry every now and then. Uh, but yeah, let's, uh, let's jump into this shield visual review, starting with the T5 rep shields. Starting with the gamma shield array. Not too bad. Next shield, the Mako or adapted Mako shield array. <laughs> um, usually like this one. Uh, today is no different. I like the shield on here as well. 
Next shield. The Omega Force Shield Array. This one looks pretty good on here as well. Coming over top. Yeah, I like this one. I think uh, I think it looks good because we have this uh, unique part that's coming down the middle of the saucer, so it breaks up the design that would normally have just carried on through the middle of the saucer. Uh, so yeah, no, I like that one. I, I, the, it's a nice contrast between the colors too. Anyway, next shield. Next shield, the assimilated shield array, i.e. the Borg shield. Not too bad. It's got the appropriate amount of Borginess to it. Uh, let's take a look at the three-piece real quick. All right, so here's the three-piece Borg set. Uh, there's the deflector. It's, let me zoom out here. So you can see the deflector there. Uh, a little bit of clipping through the top there, but uh, zoomed out, you don't notice it too much. Uh, same as the Baran, the nacelle part is on the underside of the, depending on your how you're looking at it, top right nacelle. <laughs> Uh, and you got your impulse engine uh, graphic pretty much in the same spot. So it doesn't look overly ridiculous. Uh, it looks actually not too bad. Uh, no complaints here. Let's go on the next shield. The Nakura shield array. I like how the uh, the engine, or sorry, engine, oh my god, the deflector and the bridge uh, lights kind of just got brighter. Um, I think that's maybe the only thing I like on this shield. <laughs> Yeah. Next shield, the Romulan shield array. I think I remember last video, I kind of liked this shield on here. Uh, this one, I don't know. Um, like I'm seeing this, oh, hello. <laughs> I'm seeing this for the first time right now. So uh, yeah, I first impressions, don't know. Uh, but let's go to the next shield, the Riemann shield array. Yeah. I like how it makes the red pinstriping pop out more and the white lettering. Like you can clearly see from here Starfleet USS Baran, United Federation of Planets. Uh, but I can't see my dang registry anymore. So yeah. Uh, next shield. The Dyson Rep Shield Array. The Dyson one's been pretty good. This bugs me though. This looks like the um, the graphic has just kind of glitched completely. Like, you don't know what's going on there. Um, yeah, for that fact, I don't think I would rock this shield. Yeah, I don't like that at all. I don't know what's going on there, but yeah, do not like it. It's doing it under, on the underside as well. Yeah, no, no, that's, that's just weird. Next shield. Ugh. The counter command shield array. I don't like it. Uh, I find that the T6 actually looks better than the T5. Uh, again, the polka dots just kill it for me. But again, this is all subjective. This is just my my first impression, and I'm showing you the shields on the ship. So yeah, uh, next shield, the Delta Alliance shield array. I like this one. Um, the green accents don't bug me so much. Um, I know I said earlier that the ship benefits from having like a couple of different contrasting colors, um, two maybe, <laughs> um, but this, this actually looks pretty good. And again, the registry and the pinstriping just kind of pop on this, which I, I like. Next shield, the Terran Task Force shield array. Ooh, lordy. I like it. I like it a lot. It's very nice. I like. I think I'm being a little bit nitpicky, but I think it's just this default graphic that's on here. I think it's like part of the design of the ship or whatever. Just on some things just throws off the ship. Uh, I didn't notice too much, but now that I'm really staring at it, it just bugs me. But overall, still, this is an amazing shield. Uh, I, I like it a lot. Let's go to the next one. The Iconian Shield Array. Huh. 
I like this one on the Buran class. Uh, this one, I don't think I'm liking it today. No. Nah. Yeah. Next shield. The Lucar. Wow. <laughs> the Lucari shield array. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> this is what happens when you're getting. You're trying to do a video and you're seeing things for the first time. <laughs> Wow, that caught me off guard. Well, you can really see all the different lines that went into the design. Uh, wow. Holy crap. That's a lot of Tron. Uh, I'm not even mad. <laughs> that's not bad. Uh, yeah, that's not bad at all. Let's go to the next shield. The competitive war game shield array. Not too bad either. No major grapes about it. Pretty simple. All right, let's move on to mission, uh, mission reward shields. Let's just get this one out of the way now. So here's the Breen shield. Uh, I saw the perfect comment from the Baran class visual review and how the, the Breen shield makes it look like this ship is still under construction. <laughs> And then I saw another comment about, does the Breen shield even look good on Breen ships? <laughs> We're going to have to experiment that with that one day. Uh, but yeah, anyway, let's let's get rid of this eyesore now. The Bajor Defense Shield Array. I like the weathered antique look on it. I mean, if we, if we consider the timeline of this game, which is 2410, and... I kind of wish it was actually 2419. Um, I'm, I'll, that, that's, that's a discussion for another video. But, uh, yeah, if this, if this ship was from, like, the 2256 era, whatever, um, and it's now 2410 or 2419, then this is what I would imagine the ship looks like after, like, sitting down on a planet surface being rained on and, like, just battered with weather and I'm gonna stop rambling and move on to the next shield the Aegis or Aegis shield ray I like this one um, I kind of like this better than the Lucari one uh, the Lucari as 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 humorous as that was it was kind of a little bit over the top this one is just kind of subtle and nice I kind of like it um, I wouldn't mind a middle ground between these two shields, though. But not bad. Next shield. The Jem'Hadar Shield Array. This is the shield from the 2800 series. No huge complaints. It's, it's, a, it's an old shield, so it's, it's gonna look weird. Not weird, but old. Anyway, next shield. We are now in Lockbox Vanity Country. Uh, so here is the Herc Vanity Shield. I think the collar combination is nice. Uh, just uh, not too crazy about like the the Herc design, like the little cracks or whatever that is. Uh, next shield, the Ferengi Shield Array. I think I know which ship this shield will actually look good on. And it's that gold-plated Ferengi ship. <laughs> we'll have to test that out one day. Um, but yeah, you know what? Actually, it, it just sidebar because uh, I recently just rewatched uh, Thor Ragnarok, and I'm getting a Ragnarok uh, vibe off of this color combination right now. I, I just want to put that out there. Next shield, the Emperor's Vanity Shield. I like it a lot. That looks really good. The registry is popping. The pinstripe is popping. I like it. The deflector in the bridge area is popping. Very nice. Next shield. Uh, the discovery vanity shield. Not too bad. It mutes out some of the darker colors, which uh, uh, this the ship needs those darker colors my opinion but not bad next shield all right so we're looking at the tier six uh vanity shield uh the rep vanity shields uh this is the temporal t6 vanity shield 
not too bad, I guess. Next shield. The Terran Task Force T6 Vanity Shield. So pretty much a lighter version of uh, what we just saw on the T5 Spectrum. Not bad. The Competitive War Games T6 Vanity Shield. Same thing as the Competitive Rep T5, but the blue is now gold. Definitely have to see what this looks like on the gold-plated Ferengi ship now. Uh, the Gamma Rep T6 Vanity Rep Shield. I love that. I love how rich this color is. Like, even though it doesn't suit some ships, uh, this one might be one of them for me. I just, I love the richness. It's like a candy... Eh, it's really hard to explain, but it's like a candy purple, and you could... It's been clear-coated, and... Yeah. Yeah, I would expect to see this quality of paint on, like, a show car. Of somebody who likes this color, that is. <laughs> uh, next shield. The Omega Force... T6 Vanity Shield it looks pretty much just like the T5 Omega Vanity Shield, except uh, instead of yellow-ish, it's now purple-ish. So, next shield. The Nakura T6 Vanity Shield. And, yeah, I just, no. <laughs> uh, I, I personally don't like it. It's, I'm gonna try and find a new metaphor each time to try and like describe, but it looks like somebody printed this on paper, then crumpled up the paper, and then tried to smooth out the ship, but you still had all the wrinkles in the paper from it being crumpled. That's what the ship looks like with this shield. That's, that's today's metaphor. <laughs> or description, whatever, I don't care. Next shield. The new Romulus T6 Vanity Shield. Definitely like this one better than the Riemann shield. The T5 one, I mean. Next shield. The Dyson shield array. Yeah, see, it's doing that thing here with the T6 as well. So, because of that reason, and with this shield, I am out. Next shield. The counter command shield array. I thought this one was going to look better on this ship. Uh, it kind of does, but at the same time, this just looks whack. Like, it's it's not doing this ship any favors at all, sorry to say. Um, next shield. The Delta Alliance shield array. This one I kind of like. Uh, if you're into, I think I've mentioned it in other videos, if you like the... Uh, military look it's I guess because of the hull patterning it has that camo look to it so you could totally just like name the ship USS John Cena and nobody will see you coming let's just move on to the next shield now the Iconian T6 vanity shield much like the T5 I don't like it I don't think the purple swirly lines match the ship um, so I think the big thing that's really breaking um, a lot of the shields for me is these dark bars that are like kind of built into the design of the hull. Uh, that's making a lot of these shields a make or break for it, for me, um, visually wise. So uh, let's go to the next shield. And here is the Lucari T6 vanity shield. Not bad. I personally don't like it, though. I'd rather go with the T5 Lucari if I had to pick between the two. Uh, but that's just me. And that's it. We're done. We're done the visual review for the Cardenas class. The USS Baran NCC-1422 from Star Trek Discovery. This is the ship that Captain Lorca uh, captained before it was blown up and things got switched and Prime Lorca went bye-bye and Mirror Lorca uh, uh, took over. I'm sure we'll find out more with the upcoming uh, Rise of Discovery episodes. Uh, but I want to thank you very much for watching this video. Um, if you enjoyed watching, please hit that like button. And let me know in the comments section what shields you thought looked good on here. Uh, what didn't look good. If there's any ships that I haven't done a uh, visual review on that you want to see me doing on, uh, you can... Request that down in the comment section. Uh, doesn't 100% mean that I'll get to it right away, but um, 
I'll put it on a list. And uh, if you're, if you find yourself watching my videos a lot and you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. Um, you don't even have to hit the bell if you don't want to. I know notifications are annoying. Uh, I get a lot of Discord notifications and I uh, have a hard time turning them off. So I get notifications uh, being annoying in that and yeah. Uh, but yeah, subscribe, like, comment down below, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.